r slash ask reddit adults of reddit what is something you enjoy that society deems childish bounding up the stairs multiple steps at a time it just takes so long to go upstairs one at a time do you also skip the last step going down making sound effects and talking and funny voices i used to narrate provide sound effects of all my lego creations when i was a kid but making these types of noises or talking and funny voices for fun as an adult makes you seem weird if it's snowing i will always walk with my tongue sticking out to catch snowflakes my neighbor is a busy single mom of a seven year old after one big snow i was out shoveling and the little girl came over and asked if i could help build a snowman I decided a, why not, we had so much fun building the snowman. When we were done the mom thanked me for entertaining her and what not, so now it's kind of become a tradition for every snow day. Building Lego, even the sets that are made for adults raise a few eyebrows. My USC slave one is a work of art though. I'm in high school and have reattached myself to Legos. Shame it's widely considered a kid's toy. Drinking a pledge juice from a cardboard juice box with a straw. Capri Sun drinks too. One does not drink a Capri Sun. They dominate a Capri Sun in a single gulp. Swings. A nice swing at the park is so relaxing. Duck I just realized I haven't used a swing in like 2 years. Playing Parker with my fingers. Riding on the grocery car through the parking lot. Do it down the aisles too. No shame. I love splashing in puddles and playing out in the rain. Chocolate milk is never not great. It's the nectar of the gods, heck. My 73 year old dad still drinks chocolate milk for breakfast. I like going up the stairs on all fours. My friend likes playing on playgrounds. Dinosaurs. I am a children's therapist. And I have a toddler client who is super into dinosaurs. Only plays with dinosaur toys and only watches dinosaur movies. I have had the absolute best time at his house during the last 4 months. He sorts the toys by type of dinosaur. When his cousins came over they mixed the aquatic dinosaurs and the land dinosaurs and he kept taking them and trying to sort them by land and water again. Like what no that's a whale that doesn't make any sense they don't play together. He did not say that verbally but I knew that's what he was thinking. I buy clothing by touch. If it's not soft I won't buy it. I think you might be my twin. My boyfriend teases me all the time that when we go shopping, I only touch stuff and never buy it. That's because I only want to buy the soft stuff. I have a very extensive cozy sweater collection. Most of what I do I'd imagine. But if I had to pick a specific example it's that I like to mimic using the force to open automatic doors. Arcades. As a fully grown woman, I love going to arcades. The kinds with tickets to redeem for cheesy prizes. Unless there's something I specifically want, I hardly redeem the tickets. But usually give them to a kid at the ticket counter or my niece. Seeing their faces light up is awesome. And I enjoy the process of winning the tickets. I can't wait to be able to take our own kids to the arcade. I've got to stop at every arcade I see to play DDR. I've been playing it since I was about 16. Now at 33 I'm just glad to see they still make new ones. Using the swings at the park. Just playgrounds in general. They've come such a long way from when I was a kid with the hot metal slide. Swings and a teeter totter. Now they're enormous and so cool. I will miss when my kids are grown and I won't have a cover to run around and have fun. Play-Doh. Shut up. Just to let you know, they have like designer Play-Doh type things just for adults. I can't remember the name but my colleague was ordering some for his friend the other day. I like eating Pomba crisps. I remember going into a cafe and I seen some at the corner of my eye and I was like why haven't had them in a while so I picked them up and when purchasing them she's like oh sorry that's the kids. I was like okay will I put them back and she said no it's alright you can buy them. Weird way to feel slightly embarrassed for just buying crisps haha. <laughs> Edit. Thank you all for the either funny or very nice heartwarming replies. Also I never expected so many likes thank you all hope you have a nice day. My wife is 33 and has a pack of pombas every day. Playing with kids. Let Emmy explain. I don't have any children of my own yet, but some of my friends and cousins do. Sometimes their kids will want me to join in with whatever little game they're playing, or coloring, 
or whatever. Now, of course it feels silly to be running around playing make-believe with a small child, and I'll feel a bit self-conscious, but interacting with a child on their level, not talking down to them, I think, is important. When I was a kid I always appreciated my parents' friends who do the same for me. They didn't patronize me or speak to me how people often speak to children. I didn't feel condescended to- It's nice sometimes to get to goof off, have fun with the kid, and be cool Uncle Chaz. Adults often take themselves too seriously for that. And I really like the joy it seems to bring the kids when I shed my grown up ego for a bit and just play and let them have fun. Edit. Since in my following post I used my real name, I figured I might as well edit it into this post. 2. Second edit. Thanks for the gold and silver, kind strangers. I like to color in coloring books. They literally sell adult coloring books now. Playing Pokemon Go. My kids even call me a dork. They are just jealous of my level 40 status. I was at one of the malls here and there was a pair of probably 75 year old ladies playing Pokemon Go. I mean, I'm 30 and was playing. Two, but holy crap were they seriously into it. One of them had two tablets and her phone going. The other had a phone and tablet. Each had its own portable charger. The sheer joy on the one lady's face when she yelled. Everyone looked, and she loudly proclaimed she just caught a Zapdos was great. I smiled and went back to catching my umpteenth Pikachu or something. This was only 6 months or so ago. I bring this up anytime someone tells me the Pokemon Go is done and then tell them to go to West Edmonton Mall here on a community day. It's absolutely loaded with people playing. Edit. I'm jealous of your level 40 status. Haha. <laughs> Making dumbass noises. I mean babbling. Inhaling while speaking to sound like a robot whose voice modulator is on the fritz. Just ducking nonsense. The best time to do it is on Discord while playing games with friends or, even better emo, when you're in a team game with voice and you're kicking ass just throw out some stupid high pitched voice encouraging your team to keep kicking their ducking asses and throw in some slurping at the end. It's incredibly childish and I can't get enough of it. I am 31. Inhaling while speaking to sound like a robot whose voice modulator is on the fritz. I didn't know this was a thing and now I'm dizzy. I don't think my wife will be thrilled about this new discovery. Skipping around in public. Skipping is such an effective form of transportation. My yellow duck toys while taking a bath. Edit. Thank you guys for my first awards. Finally I can understand what fame feels like. I really expected to look up and see that you were you slash Doug Swithbucks. Eating breakfast a bowl of cereal for dinner. Lego. I'm a 38 year old woman and I have a basement full of Lego builds. Cartoons. My mother chastised me for watching Archer the other day, telling me to watch a regular show and not something for kids. Then she heard Pam doing vile things to a gyro. My childhood shows, most notably Tom and Jerry, I love rewatching it even as an adult because who doesn't love a good dose of nostalgia from time to time, my friend who is around the same age as me couldn't comprehend how I could be an adult casually watching and laughing at Tom and Jerry, I thought it was rather judgmental and hypocritical of her because I'm sure she has some great childhood shows and memories, like I can't casually enjoy Tom and Jerry, but you can enjoy your Disney Plus shows and rewatch some good old Avatar. I don't care how old I get, Lego will always be fun. There's a limit though, if you turn 100, you have to stop playing with Lego if the age limit is till 99 years. Disney movies. I get a lot of flack from my so because of my love for Disney as a 30 yo, man. A lot of adults think that Disney movies are just for kids but in my opinion, they have themes that are timeless and that people of all ages can relate to. Plus, every Disney movie was written and produced by adults, and often have lines that fly over the heads of small children that adults can enjoy as well. I collect toys. My home is covered in Star Wars toys, Nerf blasters, Hot Wheels, and my girlfriend collects Hello Kitty stuff. Coloring with crayons. The smell is really brings on the nostalgia and I find it very soothing. Collecting stuffed animals. I am a 42 year old woman and I play Animal Crossing religiously. I'm 39 and still wear Spider-Man underwear. Sweets. 
Nintendo. I'm sure I feel the same way about Nintendo as others do about Disney. I grew up with the characters. I've played most all of the main titles. No other games bring me the same level of joy as Nintendo. Video games in general are pretty mainstream and accepted as a real hobby. But I definitely feel the judgement being passed on me when I express my excitement for the next Pokemon or Animal Crossing game. Daydreaming. I'm a child free, 36 yo career lady, and I'll be damned if I'm not going to always want to wear rainbows, sparkles, hello kitty, and holographic. I often pass the children's department at Target like why don't they make this sequin jumpsuit with a unicorn on it in my size? I came of age in the time of candy kids and 90s Harajuku imports. So sparkly near maximalism will always appeal to me. Professionalism be damned. Fighting animes. Young adult novels. I love them so much. I'm getting into new adult somewhat but I love your plots so much more. Pokemon. I'm 35, and was so excited when I got my Pokedex completed certificate on Pokemon Shield, TBH. All Nintendo games have the power to give me the same level of excitement I had when I was 6. Avatar The Last Airbender. Honestly a masterpiece of a TV show that does have childish elements but also a lot of depth to the characters and plot. NGL I get teary eyes every time I see the tales of Ba Sing Se just because of that song Iro sings. I still sleep with my baby blanket. I'm 30. I don't intend to stop. It just calms me a lot. I was anxious to show my so when things got serious. But she doesn't care and respects how much I care about the blanket. We're now about to get married. Putting myself to bed early f. I'm watching Dragon Ball Z again at 30. It totally holds up. I'm about to watch Super for the first time. Swinging on a swing. Spongebob. Shit I think most people my age that grew up with it still love it. FTR I'm 23. Puddle jumping, and teaching my great nephews and great nieces to do so. Being the oldest female hardcore gamer in any MMO guild I've ever been in on any game. And same for showing the college kids how to really play MTG. Commander. Squeezing squishy balls. Comics. Especially manga. Getting ice cream. As like a hobby, I want to do the Oregon ice cream trail. It's on my 5 year bucket list. Ro, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content more light. It's free and that's a great price.